Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Nate's Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday all about bookish related things. Today's video is going to be my Autumn Readathon wrap up video, and I know that this is long overdue, but I still figured better late than never. So the Autumn Readathon was actually hosted by Mercy's Bookish Musings here on YouTube, and it was the first readathon that I joined that she did. So with this readathon, there were four main prompts and two bonus prompts, and I had about five different books, I believe. Yeah, five different books. So I'm going to basically tell you guys what I thought about the book, the rating that I gave it, and that's pretty much it. So let's just jump into this. So the first prompt was to read a gothic book or a spooky book and the book that I chose was Night Chill by Jeff Gunhouse and I received this book a long time ago I mentioned it in the TBR video which I will leave a link to down below but um this was one of the books that I just didn't read I yeah I didn't read it I didn't care to read it um yeah I don't know when I'm even gonna read this this book is a horror I guess you can say and it follows Jack Tremont and his family when he moves them to the mountains of Western Maryland and something with his daughter she goes missing and there's a guy who haunts his daughter pretty much that's what this book is about I never read it so um yeah that was a fail the second prompt was to read a non-fictional autumnal read and I don't have many like that a lot of my non-fiction books are on the Christian side so the only one that I really had was this 365 devotions for a thankful heart from Zondervan and I did read the seven days for the readathon so I gave this a five stars I really do enjoy devotional books I think they're just really great books to read I am a Christian for those of you who don't know so um, I enjoyed reading this and I think that it really has a really pretty cover and it's about being thankful. I figured that would work with the autumn type of weather and theme since Thanksgiving is around that time anyway. The third prompt was to read a novel set in a cold location and the book that I chose for that was Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, but I picked this book and this book is set in a time basically where both the North and the South Poles are kind of like taking over and the world is just becoming cold all over. I gave this five stars. It's a favorite. This book was amazing. It had assassin nuns and it, it, it was badass. Simple as that. Just badass. Prompt four was to read a historical fiction novel and the book that I chose for that was Dark Metropolis by Jacqueline Dolamore. I ended up giving this one three stars this is a YA historical fiction set in 1930s New York City but there also are like paranormal aspects with people coming back to life as zombies and magic I gave it three stars it was pretty good for a first novel I feel like there were some key things missing from this book but I did enjoy the characters nonetheless Okay, so now jumping into the bonus prompt, there were two bonus prompts. So the first one was to read a short story collection. The book that I chose for that was the same book that I actually read for the Spookathon readathon that I just did, and that was Toil and Trouble, edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp. I gave this a three stars as well as I DNF'd it. Um, I could not stand this book. It's basically 15 Tales of Women in Witchcraft. Honestly, I only gave two books out of this, two stories out of this book, um, five stars. The rest of them either got a two or a three. This bored me to death. I didn't care for it. Um, the writing was okay. There was uh, just a lot of things I had a problem with with this, so I did even finish it. But what I did read, I would consider that a three star rating. So that was my pick for that one. The final prompt, which would basically be prompt six, was to read an adult novel that follows a young female protagonist. And the book for that is the same book that I picked for prompt number three, which was Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. This basically follows Nona Gray, and she is, I believe, nine years old at the start of this series. Um, so it follows her at the age of nine and her becoming an assassin nun because she's basically a killer. And like I said when I mentioned it earlier, this book is badass. It's fantasy. There's assassin nuns. There's lots of blood and guts. There's semi-romance going on, so you get a little a little bit of that. But um, other than that, that was pretty much it. But those were the five books that I picked for this readathon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!